Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here. And this is the first video of another React uh, tutorial project series that I'm doing. So in this project, uh, it's called Movie Finder. And what it is, it's an application that you could go ahead and search for different movies. So let's say I want to search for Spider-Man movies. I'll just click Spider-Man and press enter. And then when I do that, I'll get a list of these uh, cards with a thumbnail of some type of Spider-Man movie. So if I look here, we have a list and we also have some pagination. So if I have more than, I believe it's 20, 20 movies for each page, we can go ahead and click there, click on next, and it'll take us to the next page. And then we can click on that one. And it'll give us the last page for these list of Spider-Man movies. And we can also click on one of these thumbnails to get additional details on the movie. So we'll get a title, a release date, and also an overview of that movie. And so uh, for this project, we're making use of the MovieDB API. And with this API, we'll be getting all of our movie uh, data to basically render on our application. So we'll be making use of that. And uh, yeah, so that's the project. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to the MovieDB website. And uh, let's see if I can get that. So that'll be at themoviedb.org. And so you're going to want to go there and then you'll go to sign up. And then here you'll sign up for an account. So you'll enter a username, password, and an email. And then uh, once you do that, it'll send you a um, email verification. So you'll just go in and verify. All right, so once you've verified your email, then you'll be redirected to uh, this page, to your account page. So then what you want to do is you'll go ahead and click on here and you'll go to settings. And then you're going to go down to this API tab there. And then here you'll go ahead and request an API key. So this API key will be the key that you'll need to make request to this uh, DB API in order to get all the movie data that we need. So we'll go ahead and generate and then you'll click developer. We'll go ahead and accept, accept the terms of use. All right. <clears throat> All right, and so then you're going to want to fill out this uh, form here. And uh, let's see. So yeah, so you can basically keep it pretty general. So you can, for application name, you can do something like just movie DB app. Application URL can be any type of URL. You can do like youtube.com. Or if you plan to host uh, this project, you can give the URL that you're going to host it on. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then you'll give it a short summary and then you'll just fill out your uh, information there. So I'll just go ahead and skip over this here quick. All right, so once you've uh, filled that information out, you'll get redirected to this page. And then here is the API key that you'll be using in order to make API requests. So here's an example request. So let's take this URL. And let's open up a new tab, enter that. And as you can see, we get some data from making this request. So right now I believe it's making a request to a, I believe it's to a specific type of movie or just some general information. So yeah, so we'll get more into that uh, later on in the uh, project series. But basically, but basically that's all you'll need to make your API requests. So we'll close that out. All right, cool. All right, so now that we have that set up, what we will do is we'll go ahead and start setting up our project. And so, uh, let's see. So I'm in my uh, directory right now where I'm going to create my project and what I'll be using for this project is create react app to set this project up. So if you don't have create react app, create react app, you'll need to have, I believe Node.js installed. So I already have all of that installed. So I'll go ahead and get into it. So 
to create a React app. We'll do npx create dash React app. And we'll call this um, movie finder. All right, we'll just wait a little bit for it to set up the React app. All right, and then once it's set up, you can go ahead and CD into your directory. So we'll do CD movie finder. And let me actually, let's see. Let me close or stop that server from the project, the finished project. All right, so we'll do yarn start. All right, so this is the uh, current project uh, running right now that's defaulted by create react app. So we'll go ahead and open up the project directory now. Okay, so here is our project directory. And here is our app.js. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another folder and I'll call it components, components. And in this folder is where I'll keep all of our React components. So I'll just go ahead and let's see. Uh, I'll just go ahead and move app.js into the components folder. All right. And then I'll go ahead and delete all of this uh, boilerplate code. We don't need that. We will not need any of this. Right. I'll go ahead and delete that as well. Okay. All right, cool. So let's see if we go back to our app. Let's see, no such file in. Okay. So since I moved the app.js file into the components folder, I need to go into index.js and just basically uh, grab the correct path. So we'll do components. And I believe that should work. All right, yep, so that's what we should be getting. So, okay. And let's just go ahead and type something out. So do movie finder. All right, so it looks like everything's working. Uh, I think that's a good stopping point for now for just getting everything set up. So in the uh, next video, what I'll do is I'll go into uh, setting up the uh, the CSS framework with Materialize, uh, with Google's Materialize CSS framework. So we'll go ahead and set that up in the next video and also create a couple of components. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.